Ladies, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Tierra Lavelle, and today I'm gonna to be showing you a more detailed version of when I installed the bathroom backsplash tiles. So this is the video, if you're wondering how did I do it, what were the tips and tricks to it, because I know I said come here if you wanted to learn more about it. So basically to start off with, let's look at these disgusting orange tiles. Um, I mean, if they're your style, that's you. That's great. <laughs> but personally for me, I just wanted something a bit more bright, white, and cleaner. So if you want to see a full detailed version of how I actually designed the bathroom and how it actually transformed it, definitely check out in the description box below my complete um, extreme makeover. <laughs> so let's get started. I use these smart tiles. I use these smart tiles in XL. They're larger than the regular tiles. I picked these because I wanted a tile to be more realistic. I feel like every time I see those tiny little pebble tiles, especially for peel and stick, they're always really tiny. And I feel like that kind of gives it away, especially if you're someone, if you're not someone that's into design and like DIYing, you don't know that they're peel and stick. Most people won't know. But for someone like me who looks at DIYs all the time, I kind of tired of seeing those tiny little tiles that are like little pebble size and like the glass looking ones. These ones here to me made me think of like an actual bathroom, like you walk in and it's completely renovated. You barely know that they're fake, um, especially with the grout lines and how big of, uh, of a scale they are. So that's why I picked these ones personally. You obviously can pick any tile you want, but I love these because of how realistic they looked. We're going to be using smart tiles in the extra large and those are gonna line up. A lot of the tiles I've seen are very small and looks very fake to me. So honestly, I like these because they gave it more of a realistic tile look. Um, it's thin enough that you can bend it, but it's thick enough that it does look like an actual tile and grout line. So what I'm doing here is just trying to figure out where do I want it on the wall, what, what placement do I want to put them, and where do I want to start off with. So I decided the best option is to start off from the top to the bottom because there's less discrepancy, like there's less issues starting from the top because they're most of the empty space is up top and then when I get to the bottom I'm to have to make most of the cuts. So right now I'm just drawing dry fit and see where I wanted to fit it. Once I found out, okay, this is where I'm gonna do it, I decided to stick it on the back of the tile. Make sure your tiles are completely clean before doing this. And it's very simple, you just peel one end and then slightly slide it down and make sure there's no air pockets or air bubbles in there. And basically all I did is continue on doing that all the way down to the bottom. And don't worry, those little spaces next to the wall, we're going to actually fill those later with the extra pieces that we get. And they're super easy to lift up and uh, if you mess up but there's an air bubble in them, so just peel it up and continue going. So for where I have my medicine cabinet area or any of my light sconces, the toilet bowl, what I did is use the same paper that comes off the back of them and I use that to measure how much I need to cut off of the tile. So I just use the back and because it shows you the, the direction it's going, it's easy so you'll know the exact fit instead of just taking a regular piece of paper, this one here has the dimensions already on it. So I just took that and then traced out where am I cutting and then I traced it on the back of the actual tile and then I cut that off uh, so then the tile fit, fit perfectly. Continue to do the same thing when it came to my wall sconce. I just used the same paper, traced out where the light is, make sure it fit perfectly and then I brought that down to where the actual tile is and cut that out. Okay, so the way I was able to get this piece because it goes into the light I just took the back of a previous piece that we take, like previous sticker, and then lined it up and took an X-Acto knife and just basically cut around exactly where I'm going to need it. Um, and that just helped me get the shape that I need. So then now I'll take this as a stencil. My little work area. Um, I'll just take this as a stencil and then line it up. And so then I know when I put it on where I need to actually cut. Here I'm just working along my sink and it's again the same thing, I just cut out the piece that I need to. And look at that difference, complete from where it was to what it is now, like, I love it. So now what I'm doing is taking the excess pieces I had and just cutting the little square ends off and then filling in those gaps. I like this way better because instead of cutting the gaps first or cutting it straight, this here just keeps it sealed straight across and then and add the little pieces and I feel like it didn't help from lifting or shifting. And now as you see, now what you can see, like the bathroom looks so much different. 
it looks like like you went to a condo it looks a bit brighter it looks lighter especially the orange tends to bounce off you so it's also a harsh color to really play with or to use so the gray here keeps it a neutral tone and you can decorate your bathroom however you want these tiles actually come in a variety of colors and styles so I definitely think check out smart tile the website I'm not sponsored I wish I was um, maybe one day but um, at, at the hardware store they only had two colors but on their website they have more um, but look at the difference though complete to what it used to look like like this orange I don't even know what to say about it and then to this beautiful gray bright clean looking bathroom like it made such a difference if you want to see everything else I did in that bathroom I did my floors I added shelving I changed out the vanity fixed out the light I redid the whole bathroom completely uh, because it was atrocious um, but this here is just a simple quick video to tell you exactly what I did to put these tiles up and they are really easy to clean off also just take a damp cloth and wipe them down I haven't had any lifting with the tiles I've had the tiles for over a year and a year and three four months now I've had these tiles in actually no I think it's longer I think a year and a half now I've had these tiles in my bathroom and there's no lifting I did realize that one of the on my footage that is missing is that I caulked the tile also so along the wall and the floor I caulked around the medicine cabinet so any actual surfaces uh, large surfaces I caulked around it and then um, sealed it just to make sure no moisture gets in it you don't have to do that they don't really say you have to do that but I personally did it because it is a bathroom you're showering moisture I wanted to keep and make sure that it was gonna be safe and protected so uh, I definitely did caulk off the seams of it once I was done not the grout lines just where the wall is the ceiling is and the vanity and it has lasted me this long and I am very happy with it I think you it looks like real tile it looks like you have actual subway tiles on in your bathroom and i couldn't be more pleased i definitely think you should try it out for yourself you obviously can use any type of tile you want i just really love these because it looked really realistic and it was more my style and vibe so i hope this video helped you guys out and gave you a bit more detail and information as how to you can do it yourself and actually how easy it was i thought this would be a lot more longer and in depth but it really was very simple and straightforward what you had to do is just stick them on the, the main surface of your wall and then once you get to the part, parts that need more cutting use the backing of your paper because the shape of your tile is already on it use that to trace it out and then cut the outline of your tile stick it down if you have a problem you can lift it back up it's pretty self-explanatory but it's very simple and easy to use I know it's hard and sometimes a bit discouraging when you don't know what to do and you don't want to mess it up so I did want to come here and tell you like you can do it and tell you exactly what I did and show you how simple it is to use these tiles in order to um, make your bathroom your home and make it feel like you I know how depressing it can be living in a space that doesn't feel like you or doesn't feel as clean or as bright or as vibrant or just the design aspect in general it just isn't you so I definitely think this here help me feel a lot better with my space and I hope it helps you feel a lot better with your space if you want to see the complete DIY version um, extreme makeover of the bathroom of everything I did in there definitely check out the description box below and I have so many more videos on my channel coming out that I want to share with you so please like comment and subscribe tell me in what color you would actually put the backsplash I've seen people do like a pink one before that was super cute um, but I thought from pink to orange, they were just too close in family members and I just needed something a bit more neutral that I can do my makeup and hair in there and it just keeps simple. But I have seen like different colors and stuff uh, that people did and I thought that was really cute and interesting. Um, but yeah, please put subscribe to me. I really do enjoy making these videos and sharing with you. I have so many more DIYs that I wanna share with you. And um, come on, look at this bathroom. Look at this bathroom from what it used to be you gotta give me a subscribe for that. Come on, at least for that. <laughs> Anyways, bye lovely, see you next time.